Welcome to the Evening News. I'm Andrew Clark. Tonight we hear of the Prime Minister's plans to introduce a new tax specifically aimed at those with suspected NSM sympathies. Michael Banks takes a look at how Globamax's KR4000 is doing on the battlefield. And will the KR4000 Mini be the number one Christmas toy? Earlier today, the Prime Minister announced plans that a new tax will be introduced to help fund the defence against the NSM. The new tax will be aimed at those with suspected allegiances to the National Socialist Movement. These radical sympathisers are all around us. Just because they haven't taken any direct action against the government does not mean they can't pay for their views. In conjunction with the new tax, the Prime Minister is also forming a new branch of the police designed to locate and monitor those with suspected NSM sympathies. The use of the KR4000 in the fight against the Socialists has seen massive success in northern areas of Britain. Our field reporter Michael Banks went out to see if the new battle droid is worth all the hype. Well, I'm in front of the James Graham building of the once prosperous Leeds Metropolitan University, um, currently the site of, of huge uh, NSM activities. Uh, the, the, K, the KRs arrived at dawn this morning, uh, sweeping through the campus, um, reaching towards the epicentre of what is one of the largest NS, uh, NSM battle scenes of the, uh, within the region. The socialist forces are 45 feet behind me in this building. Uh, they put up a vicious battle, but to be honest, I don't think we can survive under this tidal wave of power. Oh, um, well, we, uh, we seem to have lost Michael there um, for the time being. Um, we'll come back to the more news on the situation. Greetings, fellow man. This is the leader of the NSM. The latest acts by the Prime Minister are unacceptable and have forced me to play my hand prematurely. I encourage you, urge you, join us. Throw off the chains of oppression. The wheels are already in motion. The time is coming. <laughs>